Hi everyone. Today in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to compile your own Marlin firmware. The first step is to locate the GitHub repository for the Marlin source code. To make it easier, I will attach the link to the repo in the description below. Next, you will want to decide which version of Marlin to use. You can go to this drop down here to select the different branches where 2x is the main default. Now, you may also choose the bug fix branch to test out some newly merged bug fixes or go to the release tab to download the latest stable build. In most cases, I suggest going with a default branch unless you have specific versions in mind. So from the main page, you want to be able to download the repository uh, from going to the code link and either cloning the GitHub repository or downloading the source folder directly. Now, I'm not going to cover how to use Git in this video, but if you're not familiar with it, then I highly recommend learning it as a valuable knowledge for a lot of software related projects. There are two main ways to compile Marlin, and in this video, we will go over the Visual Studio Code method. Click on this link to go to the official Marlin website on how to proceed. The very first step is to install Visual Studio Code. Once you have Visual Studio Code installed, go over to this last side menu option for extensions, and then search for Platform IO IDE. Once you find it, go ahead and install. Once you have Platform IO installed, go ahead and go to Open Projects, find your folder where you have the Marlin um, repository, and then click on that and hit Open Marlin. With the project open, the first step is to locate the platform io.ini file. This file instructs platform io on the build settings. It is very important for us to set the value for the default environments to make sure it matches the chip that we are using for our printer's main board. Here, I'm using the SKR Mini E3 version 1.2, and this is the designated value. If you are unsure which value to use, then check with the documentation from your main board manufacturer or refer to the table on the GitHub repo page like so. Now we need to get the configuration file template for our printer to help us get a head start. Go back to your GitHub branch and locate the config folder, which will give you a link to download the configuration archive zip. This zip contains many different preset configuration files for specific printer manufacturers. If you are on version 2.0.6 and looking for Big Tree Tech's SKR Mini E3, then you'll have to go to Creality and look under Ender 3 and they will be there. If you are using an older version like 2.0.5, then Big Tree Tech is under its own separate folder. I don't know why it was moved, but check these two different locations if you're looking for Big Tree Tech. Once you have these configuration.h file and configuration advanced.h file, simply copy them into the Marlin directly under the subfolder that is also called Marlin. I'll say that once again, copy and paste the two configuration files into Marlin slash Marlin directory, and it should look like this in the VS code. The configuration.h file contains all the options for you to customize the firmware settings. This includes enabling the popular BL touch configuration and setting it to the Z stop sensor. You can also enable filament runout sensors, uh, adjust the limitations, and other quirks for your printer. There are so many options that a video won't be able to cover it, so I'll attach a useful link to the description that will give a rundown to all the options that you can find. After you are content with your configurations, then it's time to build the firmware. Locate this tiny check mark at the bottom blue line and click it. Then watch the terminal output for any red text that would indicate a fatal error in the build process. So this build fails, but don't panic. This can happen. Start by scrolling backwards in the terminal to find the first red error message to begin troubleshooting the issue. The most common issues are related to mismatches in library versions, and I'll go over two common ones now. This error here reads fatal error libmaplegpio.h, no such file or directory. The reason for this error is because the libraries for the chip on the SKR Mini E3 have now moved on to version 7, but Marlin was last built using version 6. 
and the structure of the library has changed since then. The simple fix for this is to instruct platform IO to use the, an older version of that library. I first do a search for the environment value to find the environment description. We see that the platform is using STSTM32. I'm simply going to add to the end of this value at symbol less than 6.2.0 and save the changes. This will instruct the build to use at most version 6.2.0 of the STSTM32 library. Make sure you hit this trash can button on the blue line to run the clean uh, to remove any cache files before rebuilding after making a change like this. Then hit run again to see if it resolves the issue. All right, so it looks like it's gonna be built and you see this greenish blue line which signifies that it has succeeded. Um, and that's pretty much it for the end of the build, but I will wanna go back and show you one more error that you can see. Another very common build error is the Adafruit bus IO error. This is related to the NeoPixel libraries, which controls addressable RGBs if you want to light up your printer. This is also caused by a difference in versionings, and all you need to do is add a 1.1.0 zip here to resolve. By the time you see this video, it's possible there are new errors. This is a common theme as differences in versions will occur. Don't be discouraged because most errors are relatively easy to fix. I have included a link to the description that helps list common build issues in case you run into them. Feel free to comment below if you run into your own unique issues. So now that we have everything built, um, the quickest way to get to it is to go into your Marlin directory. Um, you can just right click on any of these files here and go to review and file explorer. That should instantly take you to the directory. Then under .pio, um, there should be build. This is the name of the, your chipset. Inside, you see a file called firmware.bin. Take the bin file and drop it into your micro SD card to insert into your main board while it's off. When you turn on your printer, it will load the bin file and update the firmware. This takes about a minute and try not to interrupt it during this phase. If you have any questions about this process, then pop them in the comments below and I'll try to respond to them when I can. I hope you find this video helpful and until next time, stay dorky.